Hi guys, so in this video, I will show you how to implement Azure Bastion service. Well, you know, typically prior to this Bastion service, how we used to manage, or some people still do, uh, manage our Azure environment. One option is to have a VM, a public IP address, which is number one, not good for security. And number two, it's costly, right? Because public IP address costs money. So you have to always ensure that you have to put appropriate NSGs in place. And when you are shutting down, properly deallocate everything and public IP address. So it's not in use and meter is not ticking. And another option was, instead of having each machine public IP address, have one machine public IP address and connect to that and then use it as a jump box to manage other servers. But that's again, it's a security risk because that server is still exposed to internet, right? Azure Bastion service provide us a solution to this, right? It provide us a seamless or private fully managed RDP remote desktop and SSH access to our virtual machine. So it's a fully managed platform as a service that provides secure and seamless RDP and SSH to our VMs environment directly through Azure portal. It's just use SSL without, uh, 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 without exposing any of our VM through public IP address. My VM doesn't have to have public IP address, right? I don't have to open any specific ports. All I have to do, deploy Azure Bastion. Azure Bastion will service will use its own VNet. And from there, it will create uh, SSL session to my production v VNet and provides me RDP and SSH services to my host or to my VM so that I can connect to them securely. So as it says, connect your RDP and FSH sessions directly into Azure portal using a single click experience, log into your Azure VMs and avoid public internet exposure using SSH and RDP with private IP address only. So I will have just private IP address, no need for public IP address, good for security, good for pocket. Integrate and traverse existing firewalls and security parameters using modern HTML5 base vec client and standard SSL port and use your SSH keys for authentication when logging to Azure machine. So this is an example here. User over SSL connect to Azure portal over SSH or SSL or HTTPS 443 connect to Bastion and Bastion you know, makes connections to target VM subnets. Bastion requires its own subnet, as you can, as, as I mentioned. So it's a fully managed services. And as I said, or as I mentioned, you can connect to your virtual machine or SSL or directly to the portal without any additional agents and all, right? thing you get charged for only outbound data not for inbound uh, um, the data is leaving the network leaving Azure so let's do this anyway um, okay let's okay let's create bastion so if I go to virtual machines and go to this VM for example and say connect and say bastion saying use bastion yeah and it's telling me it's a secure fast connection way to connect any vnet that's fine it's by default it's come up with this name vnet in because i'm connecting to vnet infra vnet so it's a vnet infra bastion and azure bastion subnet name should be there and it's telling it's must here have this name and a prefix of slash 27. So let's create a subnet. Uh, boom. And how about 172? 
Oh, sorry. Uh, I must have to go for because I'm ten dot mm, hundred. What's my range? Uh, I forgot. Sorry, ten dot zero dot one. Okay. So ten dot zero dot zero because zero dot zero is free. Maybe I can use this. Yeah. And a NAT gateway. I don't have any NAT gateway. And I can use net security groups. Um, don't have any routing table, no service endpoints. At the moment, I'm all okay with it. So it's creating as your bastion. All right, so go back to it so it's all there it's creating a new ip um or use existing one i don't think i have any cannot yeah so i have to have a new ip and standard skew and resource group it's fine and i say create and it's creating Bastion for me. I don't have any endpoints or uh, NAT gateway at the moment and which I don't need it actually. Uh, what are endpoints and NAT gateway? Well, for gateways, if you check my site to site VPN, I have explained some gateway concepts there. And hopefully in future video, I may cover some more. Uh, as far as endpoints are concerned, yes, this is something I haven't covered so far, but that's the plan. And slowly and gradually, I will be covering more topics in Azure. And I will be covering all different sorts of topics, some more on storage networks and related endpoints and all. So it is creating bastion for this VNet infra. So I will pause this video and I will come back when it's done. Okay guys, so it succeeded. And, and it says, please enter user name and password to connect to your virtual machine using bastion. So I think if I'm not mistaken, This was my password. And you can see it's using HTTPS or SSL. Okay, that's sorry. Um, what should I do? I forgot, man. See, it's SSL connection. So I'm not using typical FAT remote desktop client. All it's over SSL. My VMs don't have any public IP whatsoever. So I'm basically connecting to Bastion and Bastion is gonna tunnel out or tunneled out my RDP and SSH sessions securely to my production VMs. Okay. It's a bit slow at the moment. That's not a bastion problem, by the way. It's, it's just a connection. Okay. We got it finally and this is my VM. 
and I as you can see I connect simply over HTTPS and I have absolutely same experience that I used to have it with uh, um, what should I call it uh, uh, with a remote desktop services fat client right so I'll go for right and ID send zero yep so I'm into my VM uh, using bastion service as you can see this is the URL I connect over the browser it asks me for username and password so this is it basically uh, bastion is all about connecting securely like in a typical cloud environment if you ever work with private clouds let's say you have a hosted solution with some company right who have their data centers and they are hosting solutions for you right and they need to manage their your environment that's what they do right they deploy bastion so they connect to bastion and from bastion they connect to management servers and manage the environment so that's what it so yep i would say sign out yep close and that's it this is the bastion so as you see next time if you want to connect click connect say bastion use bastion and it will give you this window okay so you don't need public ip addresses anymore i mean for connective for connecting purposes for rdb purposes at least uh, of course if you if you're if you are publishing your vm on the internet as a web server or something or providing some services over the internet you may need public IP addresses or may not. You may be using Azure firewalls and natting it, you know, a gateway. You will have a gateway when you are natting it across. So for RDP purposes or for management purposes, you don't need public IP addresses anymore because they post security threats. So Azure Bastion is a, is a secure and easy way to connect to your systems doing RDP and SSH and as it says without exposing a public IP on the VM and you can do it directly from the Azure portal without need of any additional clients or agent or any piece of software okay guys so this is it and thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe and Take it easy. I will see you in another video.